Lisa Birnbach for Houdini.com. Okay, well you know that sunbathing is just the worst thing you can do to your skin, but you hate the pale face look. And those self tanners can be hard to use and leave you with streaks and dark spots if you don't know what you're doing. Well, we're here to show you how to use self tanners correctly under the supervision of dermatologist and author Doris Day. Hi, Doris. Hi. Well, it is a little confusing. Some products are for the face, some for the body. Let's start with that. Why is something face based and something body based? Typically, ones for the body are a little bit more rich, and for some people, they can cause breakouts or, or irritation. So, ones for the face are are typically tested specifically to not be irritating or what we call occlusive, to not block the pores. Um, otherwise, if you don't have sensitive skin, you can use the same product for both. How do you choose a product and not know whether it's going to, you'll never know what color you'll turn? Well, the wonderful thing is we have so many great choices of products, and now they come in light, medium, and dark. So if you have fair skin, start with the light, or if you're not sure, start with a lighter one, and then you can always graduate up. And the beauty is that you can keep applying it in layers every day or even every few hours to sort of build up to the color that you want. So now we have a little bit more tints, more bronzers, better smells, less streaking, and really beautiful, very natural coloring. It is really important to exfoliate before you apply it so you get rid of any dead sort of uneven skin cells that are sitting on the surface so that you apply it to smooth, well hydrated skin. So that means apply it after washing or after a shower so your skin has lots of water in it, sits smoothly, and after exfoliating. Okay, Doris, can you show me how to do this on my face? Sure. You put about a dime size amount in your hand, uh -huh. and then with the other finger, you're gonna just dab it around so that you get an even distribution of the product. Oh, it's a gel. Yes. So that's nice, and yes. because it's tinted, I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so now once you have that, you can just use the rest of the product, or you can wait till the end. And now you're gonna go and blend it in so that you have full and even coverage, and you have a little bit left there if you need. Now, I Perfect. can't tell whether once it's it disappears coming. and blends in, then you know you're covered. You want to just get a little bit on the side of your nose. There, that goes perfect. You can tell that this is absorbing right? It looks great. I can tell completely. Really? See, as you blend it in, there's a slight difference in tone already. Now, the important thing is good. you want to go to the edge of what we call the orbit, the eye. So right where that curve is, you want to go right into the curve, but not all the way close, not all the way to the eyelid, just close to the orbit. And then along the jawline, you want to go just underneath so that you don't have a line that is a, s a sharp demarcation of where you have the product and where you don't. So you want to blend it down just a little bit. And, and like what that? we call feathering it. Exactly. And I can see the difference already. Now with the forehead one, you exactly blend it down towards your temples. Perfect. And don't forget right between your eyes. Oh, yeah. Go all the way out towards your ears. And now you've used all your product. All it takes is about a dime size amount to cover the whole face. And just run your fingers at the end over your upper lip. That's the last place you're going to go. Oh, yeah, I didn't do you that. Because you only want a little bit there. Great. Ta-da! Doris, it's been a couple of hours. I put the gel on under your direction. Do you notice a difference? I love the look. Your skin is very even in tone. It has a warm, healthy glow. Not one streak or one bit of orange on your face. It looks great. Perfect. So now I'm tan. I can build up my tan, and then I have to use sunscreen, right? These sunless tanners do not offer you protection in the color that they give the way a natural tan might. So you definitely have to use sunscreen and reapply it on a regular basis to make sure you protect your skin from those damaging rays of the sun. Oh, those rays, those rays. What are we going to do about them? Thank you so much, Doris. Thank you. For Houdini.com, I'm Lisa Birnbach.